everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Hala, I'm from Syria. I'm a ballet dance teacher, choreographer, and performer. And today I'm going to teach you the third type of figure eights, which is the horizontal figure eight. The horizontal figure eight goes both ways, to the back and to the front. So there's two kinds, but they're very similar, so I'm not gonna break them up into two videos. Last week, I have taught you the vertical figure eight upward and downward. I'm gonna link them up here if you haven't checked them out. The horizontal figure eight depends on two movements that I've taught you in the beginning, which were the hip twists and the hip slides. I'm also going to link them up here for you. We're gonna use these two movements, combine them together to make the horizontal figure eight. The most important thing to pay attention to is not to add any, any vertical movement to this figure eight because if we start lifting and dropping the hips, it's going to start mixing with the vertical figure eight. So we need to keep it 100% horizontal. So parallel to the floor and not parallel to the wall, okay? Just the floor. So we just imagine our hips going on wheels, all right? And just sliding on the floor. The first move is to twist. Twist your right hip forward and your left hip to the back. So we're standing with our knees straight because we said that the hip twists and the hip slides need straight knees. We don't want to bend. So when I say straight, I don't mean locked knees, all right? I never mean locked knees in any movement ever, ever, ever because it's quite bad for your knees. So. I don't want it bent like in the vertical figure eights, but I also don't want it locked. So I want it straight this way, all right? So there is a softness about it, but it's still not bent this way, all right? So knees straight, chest up, arms to the side. We're going to twist the right hip forward and the left hip back. Staying in this twist, we're going to slide the hip out to the right. Don't forget not to release your twist. If you release your twist, it's just gonna look like twist, back, and slide. So we need to twist, stay in this twist, and go out to the corner, slide to the right corner uh, in the front. And then we're gonna stay in this slide and twist the other way around. So now my left hip is forward and my right hip is back, but we're still in the slide, right? Now the last step is we stay in this twist, but we slide back to the center, all right? So in every step, we're holding the previous step, all right? So twist, hold the twist, slide. Twist, hold the slide, all right? And then slide, hold the twist. Twist, slide, twist, slide, twist, slide, twist, slide, all right? So now we're back to center. We finished the first side of the figure eight. Now we're gonna do the left side, it's the same thing. We went back to center this way. The, the twist is already done for us because we came back to the center and we twisted the left to the front. So now we slide out, holding the twist, and then we twist, holding the slide, and then we slide back, holding the twist. And we finish with the right hip forward again, so it's like, the last step of the, uh, the side is preparing us for the first step of the other side, all right? So the last step of the right is preparing the first step of the left and vice versa. So twist, slide, twist, and slide. Slide, twist, slide, slide, twist, slide, slide, twist, slide, slide, twist, slide. And that's how it goes. And we make a vertical, sorry, a horizontal figure eight to the back. So we're starting from front to back, front to back. Try as much as you can not to move your upper body. The smaller it gets, the easier it gets not to move the upper body. And if you wanna make it big, you can just open your feet a little wider. Emphasize on the twist. Without the twist, it just looks like you are moving your hips as a rigid, you know, unit. So you wanna, you wanna, you know, see this flexibility in the twist, all right? So twist, slide, twist, slide, twist, slide, twist. And there you go. Horizontal figure eight to the back. Now let's try to the front. It's 
Same mechanics, just reversing the movement. So instead of starting with the twisted hip, the, the, the one we want to work on to the front, it's going to be to the back. So I'm going to start from the right again, but this time my right hip is back and my left hip is front. So I twist back, I slide out, I twist front, I slide to the center. So back, slide, front, slide, back slide front slide now i do the left my left hip is already facing to the back so i slide out twist forward and slide back out forward back out forward back out forward back out forward back and there you go that is the horizontal figure eight to the front and both of them are very beautiful and Please learn both because they can be used to showcase your wide vocabulary in belly dance. All right, so let's see the movements from the back and compare them. So I'm gonna do the uh, horizontal figure eight to the back first. So I twist my hip to the front, I slide it out, twist it to the back, I slide it back. Out, twist, back, up, twist, back, and figure eight. Try to keep your upper body as still as possible. All right, now let me reverse it. I slide my, I twist my hip back, slide it out, twist front and back to the center. Slide, twist, back. And there you go, that's horizontal, figure eight to the front. Okay. All right, now let's try them with the music. So I'm gonna put some music here and we're gonna do 16 of each, slow at first and then we're gonna do them faster. All right, let's start to the back. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now twist to the other side. The front one, three, five, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Now let's do it a bit quicker, all right? Sixteen of each. Fast tempo. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Now reverse. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Awesome. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. If you have any questions or if the movement wasn't clear enough to you, please write that in the comments and I'll make sure to get to your comments as soon as I can. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell icon because I have videos coming for you every Tuesday and Friday in English. And don't forget to like this video if it was helpful and I'll see you in the next